Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goop. So I've decided to see if we could catch up with Curvy Connections. So this is episode four. I've heard from a lot of you, and I believe it, that the person here, the man, is like kind of a not a great guy. So I want to hopefully carry it through to see like even the podcast of them shitting on the guy later. Not literally not literally Sala, so relax. But um, I, I just, I'm here for it. There's really uh, not much else out there at the moment, but hopefully Vlogmas will find somebody better. I don't know. But until then, let's take a look at Curvy Connections 4. Why not? Welcome back to Curvy Connection. On yesterday's episode, Luis got to go on a few Luis. group dates with all of our girls and get to know them a little bit better in group settings. Today, Luis is going to be going on his final one-on-one -on -one dates with the other girls who he hasn't had one-on-ones with yet. We're starting okay. off our first one-on-one -on -one date doing mini golf with Megan. I'm super curious to see if they have a spark as they haven't had a lot of conversation yet, but no. I can see them over there hanging out and having some good chats. So I'm excited to see where it goes. So, Thank yeah. You. That, the Megan person, I don't think she kind of gets along with anybody. Okay, mini golf. Yay! I, I don't like mini golf. I like top golf. That was fun when we did it. Um, I went with work. It was a blast. Actually, I wanted to take the kids there. So... That's cute. I mean, it's a nice place. Anybody know what state they're in? They're not in New England, are they? I wonder what the budget for this was. I bet you they had a pretty hefty budget. So now it looks like they're going to go for lemonade. I did. I thought I was going to... I thought I was going to be better at it. I felt like I was trying at first, and I was like, oh, no, this is working. So then I was just like, nope. <laughs> I think yeah. and hitting it one-handed. Mini is golf is not for everybody. Putt, putt. Like, I know we're just vibing. We're hanging out. Yeah. But what do you want to see happen at the end of this experience, the show? Think about it. What do all men want after a couple dates? Oh, like... With anybody that, like myself or anyone. Sure. He's not like looking for a long term. I just. Mindset going into this process was like, just stay as open minded as possible and yeah. just like. Pretend you be want a long term relationship. Whatever happens. I don't know. It's just been a good experience altogether. Yeah. So, like, I really enjoy that. Um, as far as like coming away, you know, I like it's such such a fast process like it yeah can you, you know like it's like do you expect to like find love i don't know but like you know like, usually the point of these shows never that, happens you know, like you can make and um or like plant little seeds and they can grow into yeah yeah yeah. i know you haven't been in many relationships or like yeah and so like so like what would you think like your first relationship being a long distance relationship how, how does that i always joked with people that I'd be really good at it because I think I'm a person that like I'm a small dosage person where like I am a lot mm -hmm. a lot of the time and I think a lot of people can't handle me for like more than like really small doses which is fine and I know I can't handle people for more than small doses okay. like I need to recharge what does my she social mean battery by that? I need to, like oh I'm a person she's an introvert yes it goes the other way around you can't be around people for really large doses or if you are like after this whole show I bet you she goes away and doesn't talk to people for a while that's how i am because i am the worst i'm an introvert that doesn't come off as an introvert you know, i like to be alone sometimes like i wouldn't not want to spend time with somebody but it's like i know sometimes like people need a break like yeah, yeah i they do sure i guess i can see that but like at the same time i think like you know it's hard yeah yeah i, I know that long distance has its challenges you know I like yeah i think one of the challenges for me that is always kind of present is like you know I like sometimes you have a bad day and you just want to come home to your partner you yeah know? and like that's like that's not always possible or it's you when know you don't whenever have a you're partner. in a long distance relationship yeah and like I feel I, I get that yeah I, I think at their age if they're looking to like solidify something it's not like they're pen pals in high school uh eventually somebody's got to move somewhere I'm so self-sufficient like I like I've been through some and I've dealt with it on my own. And so I feel like I've and 
Like she where I'm at move. in life, I've got that myself. Has kids. Like I have had support, but like yeah. it was my own emotional journey, and I yeah. had to deal with it myself. And so I, like, I didn't have a support system that understood. They were there to support me, like with what I could ask of them, but there were certain things that they just like couldn't relate to, and so Vague. it was hard. I feel like with me, like if I have a bad day, I know how to handle it myself. And like I've even told some of the girls like this during this experience that like. I feel like I've never been pressured to try to put myself out there to be in a relationship because mm. I like This is the one who's never had a relationship though, right? Like she's her age and my life is my life is full. I'm happy, I'm self-sufficient. I like someone has to add to it. They can't take away from it. I really appreciate of course. that. Like, you know, like that That's part every of you, just like being able to like you know, know yourself well enough. To be able to like support yourself um like emotionally and and being able to find yourself is such a hard thing like a lot of people <sighs> don't right even here. know where to start and so the Found fact that you're me. like on that journey already and like have already yeah. done a lot of that work everybody has their own lives and everybody has, yeah, everyone has experiences, their own experiences you yeah. know like after high school like i moved like across country to like um be with this girl and like it ended up, I ended up being homeless after, like, during really? this whole process. Yeah, and it was, like, really hard for me, but I was wow. alone. I knew That's literally, some serious like, stuff. two people in mm -hmm. the entire state that I lived in, you know. Was this in Iowa? Yeah, this one I okay. lived in Iowa. What do you, and like, so, live like, out of his car? You know, car? I, like, I was basically, I lived in my car, and, yeah. like, I just was, like, stuck, yeah. you know? And, like, I I, I went to Iowa once to, like, my by accident. I would have come and rescued yeah. me, but like I didn't want it to just. Actually, Iowa is the place that I had a crumble cookie before crumble cookies were on TikTok. Be like that. <laughs> Working through that stuff has actually made me I was with who Andrew. I am. And also just like it makes me more compassionate like, to houseless people. We're in yeah, Iowa. It makes me more compassionate to people who like are struggling and trying to work their way out of that i want to ask you mm -hmm. what's like your dream relationship dream like a romantic way like a, in your life like not necessarily just from this like but just sure. in general like what yeah. you see like is like a not a perfect relationship but like just like a goal like yeah a, okay cool yeah so i you know I, like, I think finding somebody who is like compassionate and considerate those are the two things that like are those are like the two qualities that reed puts up with my shit Got it. I value like the most in, in any of my relationships, like in my friendships and in like my professional relationships. Those things are so important to me. They're like your core values. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. So I mm -hmm. want those things to be of kind of like a, a common thread through my entire relationship. I already have children. I'm not, sh I'm open to having children, yeah. children with another person, but like it would, it would definitely have to be the right person. It's going to get expensive. But, um, really? I just want, a you need to, again, I keep saying this, you need to watch those um, court live streams that people re-upload on, on um, YouTube. Oh my God. It'll completely change your mind about wanting to have a kid with somebody because it is a mess if you guys can't stay together relationship that is like that is like sustainable that people. is adventurous and mm -hmm. that is like open to continue learning and continue growing together and continue like challenging each other I'm very honest about that stuff and if there was ever a moment that like i was like oh like this this is going nowhere mm -hmm. then i would just like be like hey we need to move we need to move on like yeah you so know? hopefully you don't have a child from that and the woman's not bitter because it'll get ugly quick it's fair yeah. to both parties sure yeah so this morning we got to see luis and megan have a nice new form of a connection during their mini golf date all right now he's you guys can come for me oh, come for me she's way heavier here like okay she's she's heavier here i wouldn't be surprised if she's lost weight since this decided to take aubrey to the arcade where they can play some games let loose have fun and have a nice chat afterwards let's see if they can take their friendship spark to the next level we, we can dave and busters the Chuck E. cheese for adults i've never been there um yeah i've never been there it's not my kind of place though so sounds too loud and and i've spent too much time at chuck e cheese as a parent actually what i used to do <laughs> this is terrible we used to go to chuck e cheese on like a tuesday like 11 a.m and i would because i was still in school for getting my accounting degree i would study 
I'd bring my books, give the kids, I would give them, um, well, it was mostly Gabriel because Andrew was an infant, but um, I would give him two quarters at a time. So he had to come back to the table every time he wanted something. But yeah, it was, it was nice because it was empty. We've missed what she said. Sorry. So, Do you care? I'm really excited. Oh, now we have more shit music. But no, I will. Here's a memory. Okay. This is a memory with Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, right? We're at Chuck E. Cheese early in the morning. I got a message on my phone. This was when, um, sorry, I just had a humongous brain fart. I had to actually look up what I was trying to say. So remember Casey Anthony? So her trial, um, I can't remember if it was 2006 or seven or eight. I don't remember. But um, we were at Chuck E. Cheese. I was studying. And then I got a message on my phone that the verdict was out. So I'm like, I know we're not done here. I know you still have quarters or tokens. We have to go home and see the verdict. And boy, was I pissed. Like, for years, I was pissed about that. Like, years. I'm still pissed if you ask me. But on the other hand... Because I'm like really into law shows, I understand what happened. Because really in the American justice system, it, it, you have to make the state prove their case and the state didn't, you know, that's bottom line. That's how we work. And, um, somebody said it's better to have 10 guilty go free than one falsely accused. So I get it. I'm still not happy about it. I still think she murdered that kid so she could party, but you know, that's our justice system and it, I still root for our justice system. That's enough, right? Are they saying anything? No, they're not. This music is so obnoxious. I don't know where they are. Can somebody tell me where they are? I like, I, I think my time with you is really, it's like some of my, there's like really stuff. And I knew it would be, honestly, like, didn't really ever have any doubts that, like, you and I would mesh well. The the show is, like, you know, like, it's very, like, oriented towards, like, plus-size dating, and I, mm -hmm. I think that's great. But, yeah. like, you know, I, like, I guess I haven't really given my perspective on being a heavier man. Yeah, I would love to, if you're open to sharing. Sure, like, here's the thing is that, like, women in general, like, can pull a date. You know, I agree. Like, yeah, it, I agree. I, like I don't like, like sure, like size has its like uh, limitations. I don't agree. But like, for a man that's big, you're fighting yourself, but also like, you're fighting a bunch of shallow, you know, shallow people out there. I don't think so. I don't agree with him. All right, maybe it's just because of my preferences or the era that I grew up. So the era that I was dating and shit, um, plus size was taboo. Like. You know, if you walked around high school, you maybe saw five, ten women that were heavy. I've personally always liked bigger guys. I don't know why, but I'm not a chubby chaser at all. But um, I, I wouldn't like him because I don't I, I don't care for this person. But uh, he's not my cup of tea. So I, I don't know. I, I think that bigger men have an easier time dating than bigger women. At least when I was out there. I'll talk to people that I go on dates with. I'll be like, look, I bet like intense wipes you could get an instant match on Tinder. I won't get an instant match in two months. Wow. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't agree. I will like swipe and then maybe like once a week I might get a match. I, I don't and think so, I could get a match now. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. What you guys talking and so it's about? like one of those well, things like, man, so, like it's hard to connect to with people. it. Yeah. Like if it wasn't for dating apps, like I wouldn't be dating. Really? Because like I don't know how to approach spies dating apps. Dude, yeah, but I don't know how to approach a, a person. And it's true. You know, right. like and also like yeah. it's hard it's hard for me to approach somebody because you just never know how it's gonna be received. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. no, it is because so men, it used to be when I was a kid, um, the men would sort of pursue you and it was sort of like part of the game to oh, I don't know, leave me alone. Y you kind of played hard to get, right? Well, now men don't want to play that game because they're afraid you're going to call the police for stalking. So I, I don't blame them. It's a weird, a weird world now. 
Oh, like it's, that. One of those things, like it's almost like you need to sign a consent. Eh, no. At least on dating apps, everybody, like, they're there with that purpose. Yeah, you know? right. There yeah, with that. yeah, so yeah. Any of the dates I've been on have all been through dating apps because I just, like, I don't know how to approach people in a way that, I don't know, that is acceptable yeah. In, yeah. in today's That's like, sad. World, you know? Yeah, and, and it's so. so funny. Third, first of all, thank you for sharing that. And yeah. it's so funny that you brought that up because the girls and I were talking about that last night. It's just, like... I had to realize that I had to give like more grace to like men because if we're going to assume gender roles and everything like that, sure. like I expect, you know, I expect the man to reach out first, hit him with the pickup line or whatever you got to like get the interest, set up the date, call me after the date, like, you know, and it's Text. a lot of expectation. People call. If somebody calls my phone. It's like an emergency. But it's also like there are expectations on us too, but it's like kind of like, okay, understanding that it's sure. like, you know, you get cute for the day. Like you're doing all this prep for the date work and it's like, okay, not, it's not obligated that you do anything after, but it's always that pressure. It's mm -hmm. like, it's always like a, they're paying for the date or they're supplying the date. And it's like, sure. you need some sort of like transaction. It's not nothing. Is yes. You're a prostitute. It's actionable, but it's like sure. that pressure is like whether it's a hug, it's a kiss, it's a I'm going to see you later. It's like so much pressure. And I know that's the same coming from like a male's perspective, too. Yeah. Of course, we could talk about it and talk it out. But it's like every time it's a date, it still like feels like that. Sure. Yeah. It's like no, I get and, that. and then you're in this little limbo and you're on a date. OK, like who makes the first move? Who does all that? <laughs> who like states if this is a vibe? Are you feeling this like the next? And it's just like so much pressure. But it's also like. Like a diamond. I wish I had a solution. You know, diamonds are created under pressure. You're like, get rid of it. Because I don't. Yeah. And I don't know how to, like, you know, deal with that. Mm -hmm. I always feel like sure. everybody has a hitting agenda. And I'm just like, okay. Yes. I'm true. a very honest person. I'm like, tell me what your agenda is and let me know. And then if it's real or if it's something I'm vibing with, cool. If not, <laughs> that's fine. I don't like wasting anybody's time. Yeah. I don't no. like my time wasted. Agreed. I'm like, just be real. Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, dating is hard. It's so hard. Yeah. You know, I like. I have been fortunate to like find some people that I've vibed with and like who are that like the effort that I put out there isn't totally. necessarily like it's not like fake effort, you yeah. know? It's intentional. I'm like, I guess that's kind of like I try I try to be intentional about my dates is like, you know, I like Good. Sure, we may Nobody not be going fake. like on a three hundred dollar date. Yeah. You know, but like I enjoy the small things in life. Yeah. I'm absolutely I'm, I'm a super like laid back. What person. are they doing? I would much is that rather a hotel go room? like on an ex like an exploring like adventure day yeah, an adventure. Yeah. That, that, not everything has to be transactional and i hate that yeah. we have gotten to that as both men and women like in this society yeah. like everything has to be materialistic i'm like right. we can go walk at the park that's a date you yeah can go walk at the mall that was a date right. like sure and like that's the thing is that like i can live life with you like that's my goal for a date is like yeah. Can I do like so the day to day? Do life? people not just hang out anymore? Like, you know, you've gone on a couple of dates. At least this is how it worked in my limited experience or really how my kids do it. So they, um, they meet a girl, they go on like a date per se. And then most of the dates are just hanging out, watching TV, playing video games, life anime you. in the That's case of my like kid here. Day to day life isn't like us going to like a fancy dinner. Like day to day life no. is like, Hey, let's go grab a cup of coffee and then go for a walk. Yeah. In the you know farmers market. I don't know. Those are the things that like bring me joy. And if they bring, yeah. if, if you can vibe with that, like, yeah. then I can see a future with you. So I have a question. So in you saying this about day to day life, what does like long like long distance relationships look like to you? Or like, have you ever done that? Yeah, I mean, I've done like one long distance relationship. Uh, I can't remember. I does she have a kid? Because if they both have kids, then they're both. I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like people who move away from their kids or separate their kids from their father unless something's wrong. Moving for them, and it was not easy. You know, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, I think it would. It would take a lot of like communication, yeah. a lot of like commitment, a mm -hmm. lot of just like effort. Yes, because you, you know, can't just pop like, over and watch TV or anime. Intentional effort, make time for each other. Yeah, you gotta I fly guess. You know, like, somewhere. Yeah, That's crazy. Kind of case by case. Like, yeah. I can't really tell you what like that would look like for Absolutely. you or what it would look like for somebody else. One of my questions I've always wanted to ask you um, I know you have kids. Mm -hmm. Are you wanting more kids? What does that look like for you? Everybody asks that. I think that, it huh? would definitely depend on my partner. You know, I like, uh, oh, sure. it would definitely depend on who I'm, I'm with. I'm open to like 
having more kids and I'm also open to not having kids ever again. Like say you and I like ended up seeing each other Imagine. and you said, Hey, like I do want to have children. And like, that's in my five-year plan or whatever. Mm-hmm. I would have to like evaluate that. And obviously yeah, it's not one of those things that like you can, I can answer like right away. Yeah. Like I'm open to it. Yeah. Well, that's a good the bad thing is when it just kind of happens. <sighs> Those that's are a good hard. enough answer for me. Yeah. I really appreciate you. No that. matter what. Yeah, I really had a really hard. good time today. So thank yeah, you so I've much. Had such a good time. It's yeah. been so good. Like best day ever. It literally. Really I will say I I can say that. I've had some dates, but yeah, top ten. Yeah. Top two, not two. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hug? Yeah, of course. Thank, thank you. So much. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. Did the hand holding feel like a little sparkly? Mm-mm. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. I was like, this will be a good this will be like this will be a good litmus test for like what's the vibe if it was between two people yeah. it would be it would yeah. be hungry and and yeah. jules even through all your other one-on-ones are you still going back to one person at the end of the night i am is it kind of like when you know you know like you a little bit when you know was, you know okay i'll tell you this i was a little bummed that you know jules. like i was worried i wasn't even going to see her until tonight i think i i think didn't he end up with jules so, like, it's kind of cool that I was like, able to actually just, like, interact with her a little bit. And so, which is really nice. Aubrey's cool. And, like, she's great. And she she says some really, some really great things that, like, will challenge me and challenge my thinking and challenge my, who I am. And I love that. I love that in a partner. I want, I don't ever want to fall into a pitfall of, like, stagnant, kind of, not, not even stagnant, but just, like, too comfortable with the mundane. And so that's what Aubrey brings to the table. And I appreciate that. I really do. I think it's a, uh, it is you a won't. very, Eventually, um, it'll be annoying. it's a very enticing, uh, bullshit <laughs> quality that she, that she offers. And she's extremely attractive. She's extremely funny. She's extremely like energetic. I do think that like her energy level is, it does not, it does not match well with mine. Like, I'm not upset about that. You know, I like, I think what? that's the wrong kind of challenge I'm looking for. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I love to be challenged socially and mentally and, like, even in, like, relationships. But, like, I know who I am. I know, like, my personality type, you know? I'm low energy, but interest, like, just, like, introspective and just very, He's like... an artist. Uh, logical. And so she brings the logic, but she also brings the energy. Like, what I'm looking for is somebody who can match my, like zen and like chill vibe i i do have this vibe that like aubrey wants wants a family someday and like i can't definitively give her a yes you on shouldn't that. and i Mm-mm. think that that's very that's hard no do you know if jules wants more kids i don't know but she already has kids so there's a different vibe there it's different if she wants more kids i'm sure she would be open to not having more kids because she already has kids as opposed to somebody who has never had kids you know wants to do all that wants to do the pregnancy and the you know childbirth and all of that like i mean honestly not what it's cracked up to be folks i've never been a baby guy i've never been one to be like oh yeah i want to have that's why that's why he's no yar no he's no yar my ex and i adopted it's like we weren't baby people we always had this mindset of like you guys went through the adoption and then it ended holy shit there are kids that need parents. Yeah, we there are. are. Parents yes. who want kids. Yes, but we don't want babies. So, like, this is a really well, like this is a that's actually like really good because yeah, not a lot of people would adopt a non-baby. So that's actually a great quality, and I'm sad it ended. Good solution. <sighs> I can't say right now definitively that I'm open to having children again. It would like it would definitely take the right person. It yeah, would take uh, the one type person. So we've now seen Luis go on his one-on-one dates today with Megan and Aubrey. It seems like the connection with Aubrey was getting a little bit stronger, but I'm curious to see where Luis's connection is going to head now with Val. Val and Luis are going to head on a bowling date to wrap up his day of fun and get to know each other a little bit more. I've seen Luis and Val have some really great side conversations during the group dates, so let's see how their dynamic is one-on-one. Okay, so they're going bowling. I like bowling. Um, they're looking for a ball. I like her. I I think she's cool. I think she's very uh, 
what's the word? Jazzy. Just looks like she's like, let's say she has an opinion on something. I think that she would voice it out of all the women here. <laughs> Even Aubrey, I, I think she could out talk Aubrey. I don't know what they're saying and I'm not taking the volume off, but. <laughs> uh, I'm old enough to know to have, that's so funny that they got pictures of them. Uh, when I was in bowling league, we had to um, calculate our own scores, like with the thing on the overhead. Let's see if they're talking. Nope. They're eating ice cream. How many times has he had? Well, no, he had lemonade before. All right, let's. Let's see. My personality trait and the one thing I've taken is I can be a lot. Yeah. I never am. There's never like, it's nothing personal. He's I really into that around. ice cream. It would be insulting some people if you don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like to assume that if I'm laughing with you and having a good time, then you get who I am. Right. Um, so I wasn't sure if I was coming off too aggressive or too, maybe uh, not assertive, but yeah. My no, I, I feel like my mom is... You know, I mean, I grew up with a Mexican woman, a Latina, Fierce. you know, and she's like, loves to laugh. She's very vivacious and very loud and very like crass in her like. Bold. Yes. Yeah. And so like, mm -hmm. she's always just been like that. And so like, I'm used to it. I don't know. I mean, it definitely took me back, you know, and like, there are some similarities. You definitely remind me a lot of my mom. In it's, a good way? Yeah. I mean, because obviously I so love my mom. So does that mean she's, he's she's, part Mexican too? I, I miss that. Probably like Which my best fine. friend. I mean, that's so good. There's this energy that you, you kind of bring forth that I... I appreciate it. I really enjoy it. It's like one of those things that's like, she's living her best life. And I, I love that. Like My mantra has always been, if I'm around good people and laughing, then I am as happy as I can be. That's good. awesome. I don't yeah. care I what that. I'm doing, who I'm with. Yeah. I just want to laugh. Yeah. And that's it. That's great. Life is so serious, right? Yeah. And obviously, I'm all life about short. work and like, you know, work and life yeah. balance. Sure. And I play hard and I work hard. But mm -hmm. like, I don't know what it is. And all of my friends say this too. Like, it's just my aura i just like laughing yeah and if i can make someone good. laugh then i did something good yeah right. i love that that's it it's so good one of the things i did have a, you know been wanting to ask you i know you have two kids and they sound amazing um are you open to having you know do you think they had to ask that question because that to me is a weird question for like a first date maybe i don't know more kids i've asked myself like as i've got so let me explain so when I was a kid back in the 90s, you know, dating. Um, so it was kind of just assumed you wanted kids. It's weird. I mean, I guess the conversation would happen later, but I don't know. I just kind of always assumed I was going to have kids. Oh, I'm old fashioned, can I say? Gotten into the dating world if I would be open to it. And I think I don't want to jump into something like that without just like a lot of like deep because he had to answer that question four times of that Absolutely. stuff maybe not necessarily right now is like sure. you know an yeah. ideal time to probably even have that conversation no. but i think it's also important that being on the same page yeah, yeah, yeah. um one thing i know is i do want kids and whether that's you know mm -hmm. i'm entering like the dating pool of god bless i'm 29 i'm almost 30 i'm entering the pool where people either been married or have kids I'm right like, I've always been accepting of like whether if someone else has kids sure. and I love kids. Yeah. So, and I'm like a nurture at heart and always yeah. will be. Mm -hmm. So I think that's also been like something that I'm okay with too. Yeah. Like whether if I have my own kids or if I don't have my ki my own kids, like as long as I have kids that I can kind of help raise yeah, or be yeah, a yeah. part of like some sort of mother. Sure. Figure. Yeah. But it's yeah. not easy when you're the stepmother, especially when they're older. Oh, I can't even imagine. That's all because yeah. I think that at the end of the day, like I came from such like a family oriented mm -hmm. like family. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um my dad, like my parents split up. Um, I wanna say like seven years ago. Oh, okay. And oh, wow. uh my dad remarried and you know, he's such a family guy. My dad is like my best friend. Mm -hmm. Um literally, like my mom and I um have a little bit of a rockier relationship, but my dad, he got remarried and he married a woman who had an autistic uh, son. Oh, okay. And like he glows being just the father. Yeah. Good. For that little boy. Yeah. And it's just amazing yep. to there see. There are people that are that like I that. I carry yes. a lot of his characteristics because I love helping, nurturing, yeah. 
molding somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. to be the best that they can be sure. for this crazy freaking world. Yeah, you know? I love that. No, it's and good. that's why I'm Annie. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. 100% know that's why I am so grateful that I've met the family that I work for, that these yeah. two boys who are absolutely keeping me on my feet and toes at yeah. all times, they're oh, yeah. such great boys. Yeah. Maybe Alex will hire her. Great. I'm glad you do because anybody I don't I brought remember where she life, lives. I would want them to be, you know, open to supporting me being a parent, you know, yeah, and, like, absolutely. and even being like, it's maybe someday being a step parent, you know, okay, thank you. That's super important to me. One of the things that's hard about like this whole dating, dating show thing is like everybody's from a, is from afar, you know, I like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, chance, right? You're, yeah. Just, you're gambling, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't agree with that. Somebody's you know, got like, to I move. want to like get to know somebody and like I want to be able to like see where it goes. I've been uh, in long distance. They're so hard. But it's, like they're not impossible, and it's I, doable. Yeah, I just think it just takes some time and it takes some effort, and it takes the right person. It and takes it right communication. Work. Yeah, it takes communications. It takes patience and grace. Honestly, like yeah. it takes. I would like to think those are like the three key fundamental. Like yeah. I wasn't on one for a very long time too. This was years ago, I like but her. I was a lot younger, and I I think that I took away from that relationship that like without communication, without yeah. trust, without you know trust. having grace for each other, grace. And just understanding being empathetic to someone mm -hmm. perspective like yep. putting someone i always tell everyone this put yourself in someone else's shoes yeah i get it we're irrational and we're impulsive as humans naturally mm. that's how we want to react like you gotta you gotta breathe a step back and yeah. i'm i'm latina trust me like that took a lot for me to <laughs> i'm much calmer than i was back in the day so and it's because you when you you know you, you, grow learn, up. you learn yeah how have you like enjoyed this weekend and like i know you and i got a little bit of time around the lake earlier really? this weekend and that was that was awesome and it was an us moment for sure yeah and, and I, I love that yeah, me too like it, I really, it was unexpected too can we kind of just did our own thing yeah like and it was really actually it was really refreshing and really nice and also just like so i really appreciated that you were would take the time to like come join me and i wasn't sure like i was struggling with i think everyone in the house right you being the only bachelor and yeah we're all very bold women and um, mm -hmm. it's hard to like envision, right? Like what you're thinking. Sure. And I think like the show aspect of it requires me to kind of keep my cards close. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. and like, so, yeah. like I'm really trying to like, like I don't want to hurt anybody. Oh no. You know, I, like that's not my goal. My goal is not to like upset anybody, but you know, like I do want to like formulate a true connection and like i really want to like feel that out and so like i i told of myself course. before coming on the show that i was going to give all of myself to each of you individually as much as i possibly can right i don't remember the first episode but i feel like he's speaking with her pretty much the most whatever has happened at the house megan it was head. like I'm five right minutes you. Yeah. and like that earlier you know so. earlier i was right here with whoever was sitting in your seat. That Does makes that make sense? And so like, absolutely. And like, cause it's the only way that I can actually show you who I am and receive who you are. If it's any reassurance, actually a lot of the girls, whenever we, you know, everyone's gone on their one-on-one -on -one date, we kind of like, all kind of like, so how to go? Notes. And we, you know, we kind of all chit chat. Yeah. The one thing everyone keeps reiterating is you're great at being attentive and making eye contact. Well, I, I haven't always been. Okay. I, because it's a confidence thing, you know. I like Absolute, see, I can't, looking, it is confidence. Yeah, looking somebody in the eye is it takes confidence. And sometimes I will walk with my head down yes. and I have to tell myself head up. up. Yeah. Like No, I have to walk with my head down because I'll fall otherwise. You know, like own it. It's just taken a lot <laughs> of self work. And I have done mm -hmm. so much freaking work. And I and I can see that and mm -hmm. you may not see it and I know that I think some of the girls also don't see it because I one, it's it's something I don't think I've communicated very well, but like, you know, they've made some comments like, oh, you're the thinnest one here. And like, you know, you're going to get a lot of hate comments from like people online that sure. are going to be like, why is she on the show? But like what y'all didn't see was like after all of all of my life up until after high school. like I So I must look anorexic. I was 100 pounds heavier. Yeah. You know, and like Good. if my dad didn't sit me down, say, Ijita, I'm worried yeah. about you. And, yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. if it wasn't for him. I honestly, sorry. No, it's okay. Let me have your hand. Aww. And so I think that's kind of the it's reason a why deal. a lot of the yes. girls might have, I don't think they felt intimidated. I hope not. But like, I'm not just, I'm not thin. I'm no. so curvy and 
I've earned You're still this. obese. Yeah, you know? I worked hard for that. Absolutely. I feel like I get kind of like discredited for it because mm. I, I worked don't hard for my obese necessarily body. like look like everyone else in the house. Yeah. Like also She's like in my skinny. friend group, like all of my girls are tiny. All of mm -hmm. my friends are tiny. I'm the big one in my yep. friend group. You never fit you in. You know, and then it's, I agree. it's always been uh, in the middle. I've never been enough for anything. So like that's yeah. hard to like navigate yeah. through sure. growing up, whether yeah. that was weight yeah. or No, I, I believe her tears. I know I, I really uh, understand where this one's coming from. Right. But also, like, in the back of your head, like, sometimes you still see yourself as that person. Oh, body because, dysmorphia, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Like, I am confident. All nice. those women in that house are confident. All sure. those women are beautiful. Yeah. But, like, we they all... They all have body it's dysmorphia. Not no. It's not they think they're yeah, skinny. Exactly. At all. Yeah. And whether it's weight or race, like, you know, growing up, I was Spanish. I grew up in a Spanish yeah. household. Yeah. But I was born and raised here. Mm. And so I'm not Spanish enough to it's hang out like, with my Spanish friends. Right. Yeah. But I'm it, not It's like... Be like how I grew up is Italian, but I'm not from Italy. Like I'm two generations removed from that. Yes, I agree with her. Uh, There's still why not be to hang out with my wife friend. So I've always been in the middle. In the middle, yeah. I come. I and see that's. It's cool that you share that with me because that's always been my life. I speak English like an Anglo, <laughs> pero hablo español como mexicano. <laughs> and yeah. so like I can kind of fit in, but never fit in. Hundred yeah. percent. You know, you're putting your best foot forward to try to like. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. That is hard. You know, I like a lot of people like try and like diminish who we are as either Latinos or as Americans. We live in this like halfway position. Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes almost harder. It's so hard. It's so hard. You're, you're, you don't know which way to go when you're fitting in. But like at the end of the day, like I am who I am. And in my um, submission video, I said that I was like, I've always been in the middle and I am who I am. Take it or leave it. Like yeah. that's it. And I, I like love that attitude. That, you know, my circle of people. I love my people. Mm -hmm. I love those girls. It's like we've created hard not to meld to make somebody like you, but that's so bad. Such strong relationships and friendships that honestly are probably going to be a lifetime because we found a little community that yeah understood like dating sure. and just everything as mm -hmm. being you know a thicker girl mm -hmm. and thicker. Um, yeah, you guys are part of a sisterhood now that I know. I know. I'm glad to be a little bit a part of. Be a hundred percent. I care about all you guys individually. You, sure, <laughs> like there may not be a romantic connection with all of all of you, but like, I that does not take away from how much I care about and like have grown to care about you guys as Absolutely. people, as peers, as fellow like plus size people. You know, yeah. who are like trying to. Find love. I'm really and grateful for the stay time healthy that you for your kids. Uh, shared with me, and I. Really I mean, I'm glad, glad she lost like, 100 pounds, but um, yeah. Six go minutes. And have fun and shit. get to know each other a little bit more. <laughs> That's so special. I, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, and I'll definitely carry these memories oh. forever. Like it. Like so, I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, I I felt that was genuine. I think where we really connected was when we went to get yeah. ice cream, and it was just us talking and he opened up and i they probably talked for a really long time and she had to cut it which is fine saw side of him that i hadn't yet and you know i really i kind of needed that because mm -hmm. i wasn't sure where his head was at and granted you know he's dating the other ladies too but i think for my sole purpose here i needed to connect with him and on in a vulnerable way right i can flirt and be playful and he can be playful and you can kind of like be receptive to that. But like vulnerability for me is kind of how I died a connection, right? Like opening yeah, up with someone. She did. And he had brought up that, you know, yep. we had that one-on-one -on -one talk at the lake, which wasn't failed. And he goes, I kind of like that because it was sincere. You, yeah. you, 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 were just you came talking. with me and you. It's organic. Kind of just sat and we talked and we talked about you know a lot of things and like yeah. and i honestly forgot about that and then he brought it up and i was like oh my gosh you're right and it was nice because he remembered little details you know and then he talked about how like i can tell that he goes you're so funny and and for me that's one of my biggest compliments <laughs> so he was like you remind me and not in a creepy way of my mom honestly like i think well yeah you always tend to get a, p a partner like your parent i i mean that's a huge know. compliment he was like, my mom is everything and you're Latina. And I can see that he's, I think he used the word comfort. And he goes, it's really comforting to be in your presence because you give me that vibe of my, just being like with my mom. Yeah. I think overall the date was better than I anticipated. Good. Did you feel a spark? 
kind of. Yes. We both got vulnerable. I actually I cried a little bit and yes. he reached over and he held my hand. And I like, felt there was a spark, but we'll see. Just I don't whether think that was wins. like I don't romantic remember. or platonic, like that's comforting in itself. I think it's a natural instinct. When I cry, I kind of look away. And so when I try to do that, he stopped. He's like, hey, hey, like take a minute. Like, let's stop. Like, and he like, just give me your hand. And like, he was very, very comforting. And you know, that, that conversation that we had was hard. Do you think she'll fly them all out again for Vlogmas? And it's one that's always stuck with me. So I kind of like to see them again. He was very, very, very sweet about navigating It's about a year ago. And I don't know if it was a spark, but it was special. Okay. So first and foremost, how Ooh, was your date with Val? Oh, uh, the Val date was really good. Her dress is stuck. Somebody help her. I I had so much fun. Like, I mean, I haven't gone bowling in Guys, over a decade. It's been so she's fun. She's way to, like, smaller It was cool now. to see her in that element. Sorry. Like, she was, like, giving me it. Like, I love that, like, kind of vibe. Like, that playful, like, I mean, I told her that, like, she kind of reminds me of, like, my mom. Which, I don't mean, I mean, I mean it as a compliment. Please but also, fix your like, dress. I don't see her, like, romantically, like... Like, there's not a romantic, like, spark there. I saw you holding hands. Like, was it just kind of... She was being extremely vulnerable with me, mm-hmm. and I just wanted to be comforting. And also just, like, Holy let shit, her this know woman's that, like, crying. her vulnerability was welcomed and, like, accepted. Men do not like that when women cry. I will tell you right now. Comforting touch. Okay, you know, not like, necessarily romantic. romantic. Yeah. Okay. Nice and touches. So, like, and I, I hope she didn't perceive it as romantic. It was just, like, I was, you know, like, because I, I literally was, like... Let's take a second. Let's pause. Let's take a second. Mm. Give me your hand. It showed me that like she can be serious. She can't, you mm. know, like she can have like a a seriousness to her. Because that's honestly been my fear all week. Because she's been the jokester, the prankster, mm-hmm. like, and like I love that. I love that vibe. I love that energy. But like, I want to know that like when you can like, dig deep. Yeah, or like when like the sh- hits the fan, I can come to you and be like. My life is falling apart, and I know that you're not going to be trying to, like, take it lightly, but you're going to, like, embrace me and take me in and give me the comfort and support that I need in those moments. It was good. I still didn't feel the spark. We Mm -hmm. had a conversation down here, alone. He really likes Val. It was the same feeling. It was genuine. It was, there was a connection there, but, like, there's just... There just wasn't like this romance or like this draw where I'm like, where I want to dig deeper or where I want to like, like, I really want to sink my teeth into that. Like it, it was more not mm. feeling it. It's, it's just not that initial spark. Yeah. Right. Okay. So where are you at in terms of the fact that now you've finished all your one-on-one dates? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is decision day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, we know we're not expecting you to propose tomorrow. Right. But rather make a connection with someone that you want to take on beyond the show. Yeah. yeah. So where are you at with uh, the girls? I'm curious. You know, I, I had a really great time with Aubrey today. And I've had a really great time with Jules. And like, you know, I like will Megan. say, you know, I had my second date with Jules. I've been able to like take the energy that I got on that date and continue to just kind of like explore it or like break it down, unfold it a little bit more just so that I could see where, see if it's, if there's actually a connection there or I can't help but be drawn to her. Yeah. I noticed like every time we have a group setting, every time we come back to the house between one-on-ones, I notice you're immediately pulled to go talk to her. Like you just, you want to get to know her more. Yeah, absolutely. I do. Like she. Is Every time incredible. we come back to the house, I just I look over. I'm like, oh, he's talking to Jules. Good. To me, it feels he's supposed very to do that. To it's... me, it feels like I'd be doing myself a disservice to not give yeah. her some time. Like, yeah, give her if you some like of her, my absolutely. Time. But does she like him? I don't remember. <laughs> because like I want it to be reciprocated. Not to rewatch I want her this. to be able yeah. to like. Because I would hate to be like, hey, I choose you, and then her be like, I don't want to choose you back. You know, yeah, that's Pokemon. scary. I you know, that's vulnerable you. for sure. Is um, is there a chance with anyone but Jules? On the to finale of Curvy Connection, I know who I'm gonna pick. I'm afraid that she'll be like, you know, like I I appreciate it, but like not interested, no kind of thing. You know, I can't help but think that that's That'd a be real funny. of course possibility. Where do you think she's at right now? I don't know. No idea. I'm Feeling nervous? Definitely. 100%. That was a tough one. I uh. So I wasn't going to read the comments, but this is true. 
This is why shows like Love is Blind pick people from the same state and area. Being so far apart is basically setting them up for failure. I, I agree with that. Yeah, because they're not teenagers. This is like, okay, if you get together, you start your life. I don't know. All right, so we're almost done. Um, not sure when I'll have time to film the finale, but we shall be seeing a finale shortly. Are you guys on the edge of your seats? You didn't think so. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye.